Okay, so here's the Droid Programming cap Challenge. As you can see, I've got the course laid out here. Now you use these little markers, the cones or whatever you wanna call them, just to show where you need to make a turn. So you wanna come up, make a turn here, and go around the cone here, and come all the way back across the finish line back over there, okay? And so I'm not using just a whole row of cones just to mark where I'm gonna make turns. And then also to mark where I wanna start, okay? Now that'll be important because you want to start at the same spot each and every time. Okay, so make sure the students understand that if they don't already. Now here's the program that I wrote. That'll quickly get me through here. Um, and I put a delay in between each command. It just makes it a lot easier and smoother. So this is stuff we've talked about with them already. So I'm going to hit play and you can see uh, this real mini go through, okay? That's it. So again, this is like the maze racers. So that means you'll be building a, a track for the other team to go through. So you'll have about five minutes to build a track. Your team will. Okay. And then you're going to switch tracks and then you'll have to write a program to get through their track. Okay. So you get points based on how fast you can write the program. If you can write one at all in the time allotted, um, and then how fast your Sphero Mini, if you get through, how fast it can get through, okay? So those will be the things that determine if you get the point or if the opposite team gets the point. And then after the first team to, uh, the team that gets the most points actually advances and plays against the other team, okay? It's like a bracket style tournament, okay? All right, and so these squares will actually be 12 feet by 12 feet, the blue blocks, okay? And you'll be able to make your course within that 12 feet. Um, your starting point has to be on one of the edges, like right here, and your finish point has to be on one of the edges as well, okay? So you got to have at least one left turn, which we did, one right turn, okay? And all the turns have to be 90 degrees. So don't make a, a complex, um, if a team is making a complex, uh, you know, circular path or a zigzag path, then they're doing it wrong because it has to be all. 90 degree turns and these are things that we talked about during the, the training competition the competition training okay so if you have any questions um let me know um and i and we'll try to clarify that but um it should be pretty straightforward so talk to you